I'm giving like so much homeboy right now. <laughs> What's Poppington everybody? It's your girl Kennedy and welcome back to another video. I'm doing pretty good. One video a month. Okay, let's keep a track. But good news, I woke up and I was blowing up. I'm like currently going viral right now on TikTok for buying actually this purse from Michaels and that's it. Crazy. It's so hard to go viral when it's for something I just bought, not something I made. So let's try to go viral for something that I made. And if you're on the internet, then you've been seeing that these have been going viral on TikTok as well. Like everybody and their mama has no hair. Um, and this is just my adaptation. I made mine into a fairy garden. Obviously by the title, you're here because of the shoe purse combo. I'm not trying to keep it in the so follow me as I make my moss clogs. It's giving very much cottage core, cottage core whore, town slore, okay? <laughs> Not town slore, I'm sorry. Also, stay tuned at the end for a special announcement. If you love me, then you wait. So, yeah, so without ado, let's get to it. Starting off with the main event, we have our Balenciaga dupes, okay? Um, these are obviously not real Balenciagas, I got these from Amazon, um, just because I wanted the actual clog look because I'm going for that, you know, cottagecore vibe. Um, here's your generic list of materials, go ahead and pause to read, and here's your secondary list of materials, just because not everybody knows what goes into a fairy garden, so I just wanted to give a blanket, you know, generic list for things that you could use obviously you don't have to pick every single thing I got a bunch of stuff just because I wasn't sure what I was doing yet so here we are so first step you're going to glue the fairy door to the side of your shoe see this is why you need the platform um, at first I wanted to, to, to go to the back but the curvature of the door matched better with the curvature to the side of the shoe and while that's drying I'm actually gonna go run some errands because there's one more thing I need to pick up for this project so yeah so I'm back and that has cured very nicely to the side of the shoe and we're going to use these grass panels to glue on the side of the shoe just because I don't want that much moss to be on the side just because the moss is 3d and when you're walking your feet tend to slide against each other and I want as minimal fallout as possible so as far as measurements go I'm not really caring I'm just eyeballing and I didn't really measure these grass sheets because they are from a, another project so I am recycling they just have to be long enough to fit on my shoe so when placing the grass panels on the shoe I'm just cutting the line to make it as clean and crisp as possible um, to line up you know with all the measurements of the shoe the dimensions of the shoe um, and another reason why I'm using grass paneling is because I want to put this fence on the side of my shoe and the moss it like the, the fence just wouldn't look right if I did the side of the shoe covered in moss if that makes sense so don't be like me but also be like me um, here I am covering my shoe with E6000 which is fine um, also this E6000 was black I have some pros and cons about that I don't know like only because it got on my fingers and my fingers were black but other than that um, it didn't really matter if you get the clear version or not but yeah so so here I am struggling with that said glue just because E6000 although it does have a very strong bond obviously it doesn't have an instant hold so this is where your glue sticks your um, hot glue gun and your hot glue sticks come in just because obviously a hot glue gun will dry a lot faster um, so it'll add that instant hold and then the e6000 will add that forever hold so you need both um here's where i thought i was smart by putting tape but <laughs> that did not work like i still got glue like all over myself see like you can see i'm getting like frustrated like oh my god but yeah so i fixed my mistakes so while the other foot is drying i'm taking my little frog pond and I'm just figuring out the best placement for it um, so that it can have the most amount of glue 
to the pond and to the shoe so that it has the most stability. Um, and while that's drying on the other shoe, I just went ahead and kept going along with the grass walls. Um, this is my second attempt, so it's a way cleaner because I'm just learning as I'm going, just like, you know, as I do most things. Um, so yeah, I'm just trimming up around the edges just so I can have the most clean finish because I'm all about craftsmanship at the end of the day. So see how after I trimmed everything down, made everything look clean, it just looks great. Like, I don't know, like, my confidence right now at this point in time was through the roof, you guys. Like, I don't know. It's going to get, my confidence is going to get 10 times worse as I keep going. But yeah, so here I am just spot checking, make sure I have like as much as the bottom covered as possible. I actually ran out of grass paneling, so on this shoe I actually have to do some patchwork. But it came out cute. It, it, it doesn't have to be perfect because nature is not perfect. Finally, at the good part, we get to decorate. So I'm just figuring out the perfect placement for my bench and for my little tree stumps. Um, just because I am walking and I want to have the most stability and durability um, for my shoe. Um, so keep all that in mind when you are placing your things down. Here is a pro tip. Make sure you put some grass or some moss underneath the bench before you glue it. And look at these little butterflies, they jiggle. So, moving forward. Um, I found these little clusters of mushrooms. Um, it comes in this big cluster and they come in these little individual... They come on like little individual wires. Um, so what I did was I took three out and I twisted them together to make their own little cluster. And I'm just figuring out the best placement to place it around my little stump here and this is what I liked the best and then I'm spreading the wires out evenly because the moss will grow on top of that and then I'm just gonna place a little turtle somewhere around there somewhere I'll figure it out um, I made another one of those little three mushroom clump clusters because I wanted to put one around the fairy door to add some color to the back of my shoe and I wanted mushrooms all around just to add you know symmetry and fluidity um, to both shoes to both feet um so yeah i just used a little dab of hot glue and i did hold it there just for like a little bit just because the glue is really hot and it does take a second to solidify so you gotta have to hold it there for a second but pro tip before it completely solidifies grab a little bit of moss here i am grab a little bit of moss and stick it in there just that will add stability to the mushrooms as well as hide all of the gaps and the gaping um, that could be in between the door and the mushrooms and the shoe so we want everything to flow and again wait till the glue dries completely before you move the mushroom wire along the side of the fairy door moving right along here i am counting out how many planks there are um that cover the curvature because i do have to cut out a curvature um and the fence is just made out of like balsa wood so it is easy to cut with regular scissors Pro tip, before you cut the balsa wood, make sure you hot glue the wires down, otherwise little balsa wood planks will fall out. I learned that the hard way. This is my second attempt <laughs> on my first shoe. So see how now, since I have to cut that arch, it's just so crisp and clean with the shoe. Like, it looks manufactured. Oh my God, I'm gonna throw up. And when adding the glue to the back of the fence, I only put a dot of both E6000 and hot glue, just because obviously the E6000 um, is black and it could spill out on the sides and I didn't want it to stay in the front. Um, but you need both for that instant and extra long hold. So just like I mentioned earlier, why I put the grass on the side of the walls is so that fence can lay flush like you see how crisp that looks and again when I'm walking I don't want any I want a minimal decoration in the inside of my feet um, just because you know when you're walking you don't want anything to scrape against each other and to fall off I added some moss to the bottom of the fairy door as well as some moss to the bottom of the fence in some areas that I felt like weren't as crisp as far as gluing the moss on top of the shoe goes um, you're pretty much done like I don't have to really like show you how to glue moss you just pretty much glue the moss 
where you want the moss to go and be mindful of the details that you already have now when it comes to the strap of my shoe i thought i was going to cover it in some hemp or some twine but i opted out of that just because it will probably irritate my skin at the end of the day so I've noticed that I had some cracks and gaps to fill in. Um, again, I don't have to tell you how to glue the moss onto the top of it, but I'm just going through and detailing my own shoe just because I'm a perfectionist and I see some sparsy areas that I just want to, you know, fill in. RIP to my nails, and all I did was fill in one shoe. And again, I don't need to show you how to glue moss to the top of the shoe, just I need to show you how to do the basics. But I pretty much detailed that and I finished the other shoe doing the same thing, just filling in the moss. I used the same method of hot gluing and E6000. So then I took my shoes outside and I just clapped them together like some old school chalkboard erasers and I got all the dust and debris out of them before I decided to use my glitter spray, hairspray, and Elmer's glue over my shoe just because you need the Elmer's glue and hairspray to hold all the fallout of the moss and all that stuff because you will have fallout my you will have psa you will have fallout but yeah anyway um i also added some hairspray some glitter spray just because what is a fairy garden without glitter but i don't want to like over overdo it with the glitter um i don't want it to look like school project so while that's drying, I will be working on the purse. Yes, of course I have a purse. Um, this is actually the errand I went to go run at the beginning of this video. Um, I seen a TikTok literally go viral this girl who went to Michael's to get this purse, so I had to go get to Michael's to get this purse. Um, mind you, this whole purse is literally, it's not even a purse, it's literally for plants. So I don't recommend you actually wearing this outside because it might fall apart. Uh, I'm a fragile person, so I can get away with it. It, but if you're rough i do not recommend using this outside but anyway so basically i just dug a little hole um so that i can stick a stump into the purse because i don't want it sticking out too much like sticking out far sticking too far out um so yeah that's why i dug a little hole and i just hot glued an e6000 it in there and then again i did the same thing with my little cluster of mushrooms um i wrapped it around the handle and then i wrapped it not wrapped it i glued it to the stump at the bottom um and then to hide the wire um around the handle of the purse i just glued hot glued some moss around the wire as well as like in between for stability um i also hot glued a butterfly um just because i feel like i needed something more as well as some foliage um because i need a little pop of color it's not much but you know it's cute i love purple so i just have to do something purple i also added some white fencing to the corner of my purse for some reason i just didn't film it but here are the final results i'm obsessed it came out way cuter than i ever expected it to um let's get into these details spin 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 twirl 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 um i only added just a little bit of mushrooms to the outskirts of my shoes just because again and they are shoes and I don't want anything to be damaged and I already have so many details like look at the little bench with the flowers behind it I love these butterflies because they jiggle and I just I don't know everything's just perfect here's a shot with the actual fence on the purse um and so that the fence is not so harsh like a harsh cutoff i did add some moss to the ends of those fencing so like it looks like the moss grew over the fence um i also did that kind of edging um on the shoes as well just because i didn't want that harsh line but yeah i'm really into these it's giving camp it's giving on run guard it's giving giveaway so if you stayed this long then you are interested in things like this um but maybe you don't know how to start so let me hook you up with your very own fairy garden starter kit 
Okay, um, this kit includes, you know, two packs of logs, two different types of butterflies, a little pond with some duckies in it, um, some gardening tools, a fairy bench, two different types of mushrooms, some birds, and two different types of moss. Um, I am not sponsored by anybody or anyone, so everything is out of my own pocket. Um, just to show my appreciation for you guys and to give back um, so you can give back to me by entering the giveaway and how you can do that is by following me on all of my social medias they will be linked down below sharing this video with anybody that you know literally any single person and as many people as you can as you, as you want and then posting it on your story and tagging me and that's how I know that you have completed all of those steps um, and then and I will announce a winner March 31st, 2023. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all you guys. Love you. Smooches. Bye.